Good morning, everybody. My name is Maricela, and I'm a librarian here at the San Francisco Public Library on the unceded land of the Ramatush Ohlone people. Wherever you're tuning in from, we're so happy to have you here today. And also, I'm happy to welcome you to this week's Nature Boost. We truly hope that you are enjoying our virtual programming this summer. It's all part of Summer Stride, our award-winning summer learning and reading program for all ages. This program is made possible by the wonderful support of our sponsors. While we get ready today, I invite you to look around your home for some supplies to make the two crafts that will be featured today. The materials are listed here on this slide. Take a look to see if these items are easily available to you. If you don't have time to gather these supplies, don't worry, you will be able to replay the videos later. We will have two crafts today. Today's program and the every programming happening on Fridays at 11 a.m. to from today through August 14th are Nature Booths, brought to you in partnership by the National Park Service, the Golden Gate National Parks Conservancy, and the Presidio Trust. Visit our virtual trailhead at www.sfpl.org forward slash virtual trailhead for more information. Check us out next week when we will have a reading of the hike in Spanish, La Caminata, read by our favorite rangers, Ranger Fatima and Maria Jose. Tune in and let your friends know about this very special share of La Caminata by Alison Farrell, read in Spanish. Also stay with us afterwards as they will be sharing with us uh, for our Spanish speaking audience, how to get to the Presidio and enjoy a day at the park. Now, we are thrilled to kick off Summer Stride Artist Spotlight Week. We're celebrating Alison Farrell and her incredible art for our landmark summer learning program. Every day for the next week, we will highlight a nature inspired craft, fun activity, or program featuring Allison and her stunning artwork. Plus, we will also have a special giveaway, a summer stride swag bag, including a signed copy of the hike for other, and with, that in, will include other goodies. To follow, look for a link that will appear in the chat box during today's program. So I'm ready to get crafty. Are you? Our first craft is something you can see through and it makes things that are far away look much closer. You peep through it using both your eyes and sometimes you can carry it around your neck. What do you think it is? Tell me. I'll give you a few seconds to think and tell me. Did I think, I think I heard someone say binoculars. Yes, binoculars. Let's check out this video with Allison. My name is Allison Farrell, and this is my studio. I am the author and illustrator of the book, The Hike. And in The Hike, the kids take with them binoculars. So I thought today we could make binoculars together. You'll need a stapler, two toilet paper rolls, a hole punch, 
a paintbrush or two. Whatever color paint you want. And yarn or string. Staple your toilet paper rolls together. And grab a piece of paper or a paper plate, something to put your paint out on. I'm using blue and red. Do you know what color blue and red make when they're mixed together? It's purple, is that what you guessed? Now I'm going to paint my binoculars carefully and clean up all the blobs. I'm starting with purple, but it dries a little like pink. After I finished painting this, I went over it with black and used the purple pink as a detail. I use the hole punch to make a hole on either side for the string. Then I measure out the string. and thread it through the holes, and tie a knot. And here they are, my finished binoculars. Wasn't that neat? I love my new binoculars. Here they are. They'll come in handy next time I go to the park and try to spot some birds who are far away. Can you see me peeping through my binoculars? I also made a string so that I can wear them around my neck. I hope you enjoyed that. Just like the characters in Allison's book, in the hike, there are a couple of characters and Elle is the character who carries binoculars in the story because she likes to, she is the one who looks in the distance at a very special point in the story. And her, her other companion, Ren, uses a sketchbook to record observations. I myself love writing things down and making small sketches just like Ren does in the book. In this next video, Allison will show us how to get ready for a hike and also bring along a sketchbook so that you can also record your own observations. So stay tuned for the next video when Allison Farrell shows us how to make a sketchbook. Hi, my name is Allison Farrell and this is my studio. I am the author and illustrator of the book The Hike. And in The Hike, one of the main characters named Ren brings a sketchbook with her. She uses the sketchbook to make drawings of some of the things she sees and does in the hike. And you can see little cutouts in the book that show this. Here's Ren's sketchbook and she's drawing instructions for how to make leaf baskets here. And if you look closely over here, you can see Ren with her sketchbook in her lap as she's making a leaf basket. Now, I love drawing too, 
And I also love sketchbooks. They're the best way to practice drawing and have fun drawing. So I thought I'd show you my collection of sketchbooks. These are just some of the books in my studio. These are maybe a bigger size book that I have, but I also have these. Um, sometimes it's nice to have a tiny book to stick in a bag or a backpack. Um, this is my preferred size sketchbook. I like something that I can hold easily in my hand and take along with me. I also like having an elastic band on this one. Um, but I use sketchbooks all the time and sometimes I use them to sort of have fun making an observational drawing or a drawing of things that I see in the world. Like, for example, a drawing of trees. Sometimes I draw people that I see or places that I visited. But I also love mostly using sketchbooks for things from my imagination. As you can see here, I love to draw all kinds of characters and just make up characters from the world around me. Um, another nice feature in a sketchbook can be pockets. In this pocket, I just kept some extra paper that I made a little painting with. So I thought today maybe we could make sketchbooks together. Here's what our finished sketchbook will look like. You can put a pocket in if you want. Boo! It's nice to have a cardstock or a thicker piece of paper for your cover, any color you want. And then some computer paper or a sketchbook paper, a stapler, tape for making a pocket, and a glue stick. Fold your cover paper in half and fold your interior paper in half. And then just put them together and staple them along the folded edge. Then I open the cover carefully and make a nice fold so it, the cover opens and closes well. I'm measuring out the pocket for the interior now, cutting it up, and I'll put some tape on it so that it fits right here. I'll tape it in facing the inside so whatever paper I put in doesn't fall out. And then I'll just keep a little bookmark size piece of paper in there just in case I want to make a bookmark on the go. And now I'm going to decorate. I'm cutting out a leaf shape here for the cover. And I'll glue it on with my glue stick. And last, I'll just label the front. And that's it. Here's my sketchbook and my first drawing. What will you draw in your sketchbook?
Wow, are you ready? I'm ready. I have my sketchbook and I have my binoculars. I really hope that you enjoy today's presentation. Um, and again, if you didn't get to gather your materials and do it along with Allison, you will be able to replay these videos again by following us um, at our San Francisco Public Library YouTube channel. Or you can also visit our um, virtual trailhead and click in there and you'll be able to get into the get to the videos that way as well. Um, I hope that you get out out to explore soon. And again, thank you so much for attending today.